everyone my name is aditya today i'm going to talk about eyes so let's start sight is the human body's main sense although we can function without sight we rely on our eyes to know more about our surroundings our eyes are in constant use from waking up in the morning till sleeping in the night our eyes do many activities such as reading writing watching tv the list is endless the eyes help us to determine shapes colors movement and much more around 2/3 of the information is given through the eyes to the brain the optic nerve carries all the information given from the eyes to the brain then the brain processes the information and then it helps to make decisions for example if you see a ball flying towards you you will move out of the way quickly did you know eyes are made up of watery jelly and are very fragile so they need to be well protected luckily the body has provided some protection to the eyes the skull is made up of bone which protect the back of the eye and the brain most of the eye is encased in the eye sockets they have protection layers of fat eyebrows prevent sweat from dripping into the eye and eyelids and eyelashes prevent the dust and dirt from entering into the eyes now let's discuss the parts of the human eye in the eye the first three parts are called pupil cornea and lens now back of the lens are four more parts vitreous humor optic nerve cryd and last the retina incredible what an interesting fact the iris is a colored part of the eye which is as unique as our fingerprint now in airports high tech scanners are used to identify people quickly the iris is a ring shaped membrane which contains the pupil net buster sitting close to the tv is bad for the eyes a famous phrase from parents but it isn't true there is no evidence to prove that sitting close to the tv is bad for the eyes how do eyes stay in six muscles firmly attach each eye to the skull these are called the medial and lateral rectus the superior and inferior oblique and the superior rectus and inferior rectus muscles why do we cry tear ducts are small glands inside the upper eyelid these produce salty liquid that forms tears tears lubricate and protect the eye from dust particles and keep the eye clean there are three types of tears generated by the human eye first basal tears tears which keep the eyes moist and clean second reflex tears tears when flush out from somebody when he gets irritated emotional tears tears when come out of the eye due to sadness distress or physical pain studies have been shown crying can be good for you it relieves tension by balancing the body stress levels thanks for watching my video stay tuned for the part 2 video till then bye